It's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for October 2024. On October 22nd, the sun will be moving out of Libra energy. Thank goodness. I don't know about y'all, but it feels like we've been in Libra season for the last year. And the sun will be shifting into Scorpio energy. Now, Scorpio season is dreaded by most zodiac signs because, of course, we have to do the shadow work. There has to be a deep change and transformation in our soul selves because people kind of resist doing the work and because people kind of resist making the changes and the transformations that we know we need to make in order to be our best selves. That's where the resistance actually comes from. However, the weight of Libra season, the eclipse energies that took place in Libra season has also kind of beaten people down to a point of exhaustion where any change is going to be welcomed. And so Moving into the Scorpio season, I think that people are going to be a little bit more eager beavers to kind of put Libra season behind us. We've had those scales kind of shift in our favor and then against us and then in our favor and against us. And of course, Libra season is all about the ever changing landscape of our relationship dynamic, starting with the relationship dynamic that we have with ourselves. We and the relationship that we're building with thyself dictates the relationship dynamics that we have outside of ourselves because every single person that we have in our lives is mirroring back, reflecting the parts within us that are healed, that are not healed, that need to be healed, that need to be rewritten. And so we all have had a lot of fluctuating circumstances take place over this past month. And now with the sun moving into Scorpio season, it being a fixed water sign, the fixed energy is going to help us stabilize. The water energy is the emotional, spiritual, intuitive change and transformation taking place within us, taking the fragmented parts of self, the division within oneself, and we're amalgamating it back into completion, back into wholeness, so that again, we can kind of arrive at this new version of self, arrive at realizing what we truly want, what we truly need, what we truly desire, and we are moving out of biting our tongue, keeping everything to ourselves in hopes of not rocking the boat, because that's what we were doing in labor season, and now we are willing to rock said boat, to flip said tables, if it means standing in our truth, if it means being seen, being heard, being very aware of the new boundaries that we need to put in place in order to protect thyself and in order to regain the power that we have given away to other people. So yes, Scorpio season is super intense. It is ruled over by Pluto, the great transformer himself, at this 29th critical crisis degree of Capricorn energy, closing a 16-year chapter. And Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, who is in cancer energy, again, preservation mode, doing what we have to do to fight, defend, protect what it is that we value, what it is that we've already built and created, what it is that we've already brought to life that is working for us. Anything that is not working for us, we're able to kind of cut it off, create distance and space in order for us to build something new in the place of the things that, again, we're no longer resonating with. The things that we've outgrown, the people, places and things that we have essentially reached a breaking point with. Now we're going to put all of that behind us. So Scorpio energy is all about intensity and depth. And considering the fact that the moon moves into her rulership and cancer energy as the sun moves into Scorpio energy, there's going to be a lot of feels. There's going to be a lot of introspection. There's going to be a lot of intuitive insights now being downloaded to us so that we know what we have to tackle, what we have to do, what we have to change, what we have to improve, what we have to be better at. And so, you know, we put the detective hats on in Scorpio energy. We want to get to the bottom of 
the truth. We want the nitty gritty, even if it's ugly, even if it hurts. We are arriving at a new truth within ourselves. We are arriving at new wants, needs, and desires, especially where this new version of self is concerned. And because of that, we are definitely in the mood and have the attitude to do what needs to be done. Again, that Scorpio energy is about really kind of looking within ourselves, unearthing the darker parts of ourselves, of our thoughts, of our memories, of our emotions and really getting down to the nitty gritty of where it is that again we got to shit or get off the pot to make some serious changes and transformations not only within ourselves but in our physical realm as well where in this Libra season we were trying to strike a balance and again many of us very unsuccessful in doing that the Scorpio energy is going to realize where it is that again things just simply are not fair simply putting us in situations to realize where we're reaching a breaking point, especially where particular relationship dynamics are concerned. And that in itself, as painful, as hurtful as it may be, is the catalyst that we need in order to boss up and to do what we need to do for our own damn selves. So there's a lot of passion, a lot of desire coming to the surface of our awareness. And let me just remind you, happiness, joy, versus anger and frustration when used in a healthy way both are equally powerful in making the changes that we know that we need to make sometimes you need to be angered you need to be frustrated in order to boss up in order to make a change and so there's going to be a fluctuation with this extreme mood and attitude in order for us to empower ourselves to take power and control back over our lives. We recognize where it is that we have been holding on to dead weight, beating a dead horse, so to speak. And now in this Scorpio energy, because it is about death, rebirth and resurrection, we are ready to put certain things to rest in order for us to actually move on. So there's going to be a lot of aha moments. There's going to be a strong sense of knowing. Our intuition runs very, very strong in Scorpio energy. And we may not have logical, practical insight or be able to articulate it or explain it in the way that our mental plane, our intellect wants us to be able to do. However, we are going to come up with situations, circumstances, plans, strategies that we just know our right thing to do. We just know that we have to do. We know that we have to pursue. We can't explain it. It's just a gut instinct, a higher calling, a little bit of a hint and a nudge from our higher selves. So this is going to be a very important time for change, for transformation. And of course, the change and transformation has to happen inside of us. First and foremost, our emotions, our soul, our spirit has to go through the empowerment journey. Then we have to get the heart and head in alignment. Then we can engage the physical body to then take action and make moves upon the things that we've already arrived at in our inner realm. And so we are going to need a little bit of patience. This isn't going to happen overnight. However, there's a a lot more determination being downloaded to us at this particular juncture than ever before. And we are definitely in the mood and attitude to get our shit together. So the Scorpio season in its entirety is going to be very challenging because you got to get real and raw and vulnerable with yourself. You have to be able to identify what you want, need and desire and equally get real and raw and vulnerable with the fears, the doubts, the insecurities that are essentially holding you back from making the change and transformation that you know that you need to make. This is going to be a great time to do the inner work needed. Again, there are a multitude of resources out there in order for you to do the shadow work, for you to stay in alignment with the energies and to actually kind of roll instead of be dragged. 